Welcome back to the debrief for season two. Let's dig into the Adelaide Fire and Brisbane Blaze men's contest. And the Blaze, they pressed with this arrowhead front three for much of the game and it reaped instant rewards early on. Now, fire midfielder Fred Gray does the right thing here by pre-scanning. He's trying to connect with his next line, but the wily old fox, Carl Kramer, pounces as soon as Gray's body turns and head goes down. He blitzes from the blind side. He puts enough pressure on to force a turnover further up the field. Now, take a look at the fire structure here. Both midfielders caught high and wide on the turnover. Their opponents are in the corridor and ready to counterattack. So as we play it on, you can see why these turnovers can be so costly. Keep an eye on the eventual goal scorer in Kale Kramer. Charles Ulrich needs to do a better job of finding some body. Got to stay goal side because as the play unfolds, he loses all contact. Kieran Govers needs to do a better job here in the contest. You reach, they teach. And because there's no free defender on the hotline, this ball works perfectly. And it's a wonderful finish by the more desperate man. Brizzy have their tails up after that early goal, but this is just a nice lesson for any help side midfielder. Jaden Atkinson is the Blaze player at the bottom of the screen. He's interested in whatever's happening towards the sideline, but he need not be. With the ball jammed over on the far edge, this is a perfect opportunity to tuck in and provide some defensive cover. It's a hell of a nut from Peter Scott, but Atkinson should have gobbled this up. Bit of lazy footwork by Corey Weir and a rash tackle in the circle leads to a stroke, and now it's 2-1. Matty McGann, I love you, but you've got to get to the line of scrimmage if you want to deliver these balls against a sunken press. Passing over distance into a crowded midfield not only puts the receiver under pressure, but look at all this space in front and behind McGann for the Blaze to attack into on turnover. Fred Gray gets swamped and a tip of the cap to Diarmid Chapel. This is the best piece of skill from the entire weekend of hockey. Running away from his target at speed. Upright reverse pass to Kyle Kramer. Great execution, but these defenders need to do better. Look at the gap the young fella puts on them before he gets the ball back and finishes a really nice goal. He's, oh, how's that for an assist and the finish? Making no mistake. Let's head to Perth now. And Tom Harvey was pretty good over there. Here he is looking for the best way to get into the attacking circle against a deep fall away press. Just toss it to the T point. This defender is in front, but he's lost touch with his man. This defender is confused about which player or space to take. And gone are the days of goalkeepers sitting back on their goal line. Brendan Hill needs to take some big strides forward to try and dissuade a pass into these pockets. Once the ball lands Four on Tom Wickham, he has some time and space, but he needs some better leading patterns from his teammates. Liam Flynn can dive out here to fill the dump or trailer position, leave the space in front of goal for Will Battistessa. Both boys just get to the hot zone too quickly. And by the time Wickham gets the ball under control, the goal here would have been more good fortune than good planning. The Canberra Chill played deep within their own half for a lot of this game. And here we see Perth manipulating it beautifully. Back four for the Thundersticks with two centre halves in Aaron Zalewski and Tim Gears. And I want to highlight this subtle movement from Gears, which puts Ben Staines in two defensive minds. As we roll through, Perth is happy shifting the ball around the back. And Gears just floats forward into a dangerous space to draw the attention of Staines, which gives Tom Harvey more space down this left flank. As the ball shifts, Staines has to leave Gears and close quickly to limit Harvey's time and space. He gets there on a good line, but overcommits badly, and Harvey is good enough to make him pay. Watch how he cleverly puts the ball outside his left foot. With one hand on the stick, this is high-level skill at speed. These chill defenders need to do a better job and help off their man because Harvey gets a saloon passage into the circle, earns a corner, and James Day flicked home the opening goal. Last piece from this game, and it's just a few vets giving their opponents the runaround. Zalewski is on the ball. Wickham leads in to create space down the line, and the leading pattern of Trent Minton is awesome. Up and away and leaves his defender in the dust. Because the lead is so good, he even has enough time to get his head up and feed a pass back to Wickham, who just keeps on trucking. He finds front spot, he turns, he's strong into the circle, and he earns his side another penalty corner. Let's wrap up the debrief with the play of the round, and apart from the finish from Chrissy Bates, this is a sublime passage of play from the Hockey Club Melbourne ladies. No notes from me, just sit back and enjoy. Great to have her back, played the inaugural season for Hockey Club Melbourne in 2019. And there she is on cue. Oh, what great play. It Movement of was. those angles, movements of those lines, finding and utilising the space, and from that, a circle penetration. Now, Chrissy Bates might get the chance to finish it off.